Hello and welcome everyone. Danny Garola here with Stamp in the Pink Barn coming to you from my personal studio. I normally always do my videos over at my mom's house, but we are getting ready to go on vacation. So everything is in the process of being packed. I told you guys I wanted to bring you a little gift set that was given to me and um, I wanted to teach you guys how to do it because I know a lot of you right now with the holidays coming up, you're looking for some great gift ideas um, for your uh, family and loved ones. So this little, this holds note cards. This is a little note card gift set. Perfect to give to anyone that you know that loves to give cards and they're always asking you, hey, can you make me a card? Can you... Um, can I go through your stash? I need a card. This is perfect. This gives them note cards and envelopes all in one little cute gift box and it's all made with paper. So <clears throat> we are going to get into um, showing you how to make this super cute box. Um, I just think it is adorable and I really wanted to share that with you. Now, with Stampin' Up, we sell our packages of note cards and envelopes. It comes together just like this. Um, there are 20 of them in here. So a really, really good way to get yourself quite a few of the note cards and envelopes. So I wanted to show you that. Now, with this project, you are going to want to have your paper trimmer and you're going to want to have a non-directional designer series paper and it needs to be the 12 by 12 size now i have chosen a paper that has been retired so this is a great way to get some of that paper of yours used up if you have a lot of paper that um you've kind of got stashed away since it is um no longer in rotation it's a good way to get some of that paper used up so you can justify buying our new beautiful paper okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my 12 by 12 and we're going to flip this around a couple of times so with this both of my sides are are non-directional so when i go to fold this up it's not going to make anything look off kelter so what i need to do on one side i am going to score at one and three quarters so make sure that I have my score blade here which is the light gray my cutting blade is tucked away so it doesn't wind up interfering with anything and I am just going to lightly score at one and three quarters and then I'm going to open my arm out not that I need to open the arm out but just for stability and then I'm going to slide this over to five and three quarters and I'm going to score again okay now taking this same direction I'm going to flip it completely around to um, the other side and I'm going to do the same exact thing so I'm going to score at one and three quarters and five and three quarters. I'm going to actually close this so I can watch that line there. Okay, five and three quarters. So now you're going to see we've got two outer lines. I know it's kind of hard to see on this paper, but I've got the two outer lines and then two lines that are on the center. Okay, now I'm going to flip this completely the opposite direction. All right, now what I need to do is I need to score this at two and a half. Line that up at two and a half. And eight and three quarters. Or eight and one quarter, sorry. So line that up with the eight and a quarter. Again, score. So now what it's going to look like is you are going to have two, you're going to have one line coming down here and one line coming down here. So you have two lines going um, this way on this. One is going to be a little bit smaller than the other one, just to let you know. Okay. 
Okay, now the good thing with this is you can decide what side you want on the inside, what side you want on the outside. I'm going to actually have this be, hmm, let me see here. I think maybe I want this on the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and now you want to take all your score lines and you want to burnish all of these nice and crisp. We're so excited. We heard that um, up on the mountain where we're getting ready to go, it is uh, snowing up there. And so that's exactly why we are going on this little vacation is we are missing the snow so much. So we had booked a vacation to get to go up for a week and play in the snow. So my kids are absolutely ecstatic. They are so excited. Okay, so now what we need to do is we have four corners. Now we only have the score marks here and here. Well, that doesn't make a square, right? So what we need to do is we need to just fold in to that score line each of our corners, keeping everything straight. Okay, just like so. because this is gonna be part of our tucking mechanism to hold this whole thing together. And as you can see, I have not placed glue anywhere on this little pocket and we're not going to. So it's really fun. It's pretty much an origami. All right, so we're gonna do that like that. And then we're gonna flip this over. Now we're going to take our two portions our our four lines are now going to be going um, vertical those are going to be in the inside so now that we flip this over we're going to pull in the bigger flap and now pull in the little flap okay so now those are facing each other now oops i folded these the wrong way i was supposed to flip that back over no i'm not that's right. What am I doing here? Okay, now. I have done something wrong. What did I do? Hold on. Oh, that's why. <laughs> okay, so having this open, we are going to pull these two sides in on themselves. Then we're going to do the folding. See, I messed up stuff. Getting a little, getting a little eager there. Now you're going to flip it backwards, flip it backwards. And this is where these are going to tuck in to your little sides, just like that. So now those have tucked. So make sure you flip that back around. Let me show you one more time. So we are going to fold the two ends into themselves with our little flaps. Then we're gonna flip it over one more time. Fold that one in, fold this one in, and you can tuck. Just like so. So now that's gonna lay like that. Now you've still got these two lines here, which you're going to fold like so, and fold like so to give those a good crease. And then there is your little pocket for your little gift set. Then what you can do is you can take your note cards. Now you can decorate this and make them as fancy as you would like. I like what Rhea did. She took one of the big, large floral images and put on the front here. But I want to show you guys something really quick. If you wanted to make this even more of a pocket. My hands don't want to work. They're freezing right now. You can take your little note card 
and you can actually add a decorative card to the front because you've got a pocket here. You have a pocket on the inside. You have a pocket on this side. And you have a pocket on the back side. And I just noticed I still screwed this up. These are supposed to be tucked under. That's why that looked funny. So when you tuck those under, then fold these up. There we go, that's better, geez Louise. So those are tucked inside, there you go. You can either have those flaps flipped out, they'll do the same thing. And then like I said, your little note cards go in there, your envelope can go in there, or again, you could do just envelopes on the inside and have your card be decorative and have that go on the outside, or just do a little, um, maybe a gift card on the outside you could tuck inside of there. Either way, this makes a great little gift for your recipient with cards and envelopes. So now they've got cards that they can mail directly out to their friends and family when needed. I hope I didn't confuse you too much with this because of the flaps, since I was a little bit backwards this morning. <laughs> you guys will figure it out. You'll see how it all folds as long as you get those main corners folded in. And this is where I was saying that if you want to flip this around, now you have this out. Take this, flip these in. I'm going to confuse you even more. Pull these in to themselves, just like so. This is if you want the other pattern sticking out. That's the kind of the neat thing about this is you can decide um, which side of this you want as your inside. So now I've completely flipped that where now the black is the more um, visible part and my fresh freesia is on the inside. So yeah, you can flip these around, you can play with them, you can decide what side you would rather have showing just by flipping these and flipping that back the opposite way. So I hope you guys have fun with these. I hope you make many of them. If you do, please share them over on Pink Barn Stampers Group. I would love to see what you come up with and see you get yours decorated. All right, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful week. I know we will have a blast in the snow. You're gonna see many, many pictures to come. Let me show you one more that I've made over here. This is using a retired paper as well. I created this little one here, just like that, with the different colors, but kind of fun and bright. And then again, here is the one that Rhea made. So super fun and cute. They're really easy. I know I probably made it look a little bit more complicated than it needed to be, but you'll figure it out. It's not hard. There's not that many folds. So, all right, you guys, take care. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.